Welcome to partial variations. In this lesson, I'll be walking you through calculations related to partial variations. In a partial variation, one quantity remains constant while others change. For an instance, we have quantity A and quantity B. If quantity A remains constant, quantity B can change. That means quantity B can increase or decrease while quantity A remains constant. That means quantity A is an independent variable. It does not depend on B. I try to demonstrate this mathematically. Given two variables C and D, if C is partly constant and is partly varies as D, then we can say that we have C equals to A. This A right here is a constant because it said C is partly constant. So we're saying C equals to A. We just represent that constant to be A. You can choose your constant to be any alphabet that you want. And the second statement I'll say, if C is partly varies as D, this one now is a direct variation, varies as D. That means we have C is directly proportional to D. So the combination of these two now is what makes a partial variation. If you look at it now, for you to know a partial variation question, you have something in this, this, like this word, partly constant. Whenever you have partly as a word, you know that that type of question is a partial variation question. So let's continue now. We have C equals to A and N. C is directly proportional to D. So if we change the proportional sign, we should have C equals to A and c equals to kd where k also is a constant a is a constant and k is also a constant so we have two constants the next thing we need to do is to combine these together these two together now so we take c equals to we say a plus the kd and then we have something like this c equals to a plus kd this is now our connecting formula now let's look at the first example on partial variation. This particular question, I want you to take your time to study the question so that you can understand the statement in the question. The cost of maintaining a car is partly constant. That is one of the statements. And the second one says, and partly varies as the distance travel in a given month. So let's try to break this down. The cost of maintaining a car is partly constant. That is one. The cost of maintaining a car is partly varies as the distance travel in a given month. So we have two statements there. Representing this statement mathematically, we're going to say, assume the cost of maintaining a car to be C and the distance travel to be D and the constant we're going to be using, we assume them to be A and K. So representing the statement now, the cost of maintaining a car is partly constant. That means we have C equals to A. And then for the second statement, the cost of maintaining a car partly varies as the distance traveled. That means we have C is directly proportional to D. Next thing we need to do is to change this proportional sign. And we have C equals to A and C equals to KD. So the A and the K are constant. The next thing to do now is to combine these two together. And then all we need to do is to say C equals to we take this constant A and say plus, we add it to this KD and we have C equals to K plus C equals to A plus KD. This will be our connecting formula. Through this formula, we'll be making use of this formula to solve the problems. But before that, we need to determine the value of the constant A and the constant K. So let's go into the question. The cost for a particular month is 125 Naira when the distance travel is 3000 km. So we are given C to be 125 and D to be 3000 km. So we are going to fix in this value. Put this value into this equation C equals to A plus KD. And so we have 125 equals to A plus K into bracket 3000. This bracket means times. So if we say K times 3000, you know, that will give us 3000K. 
So we have 125 equals to k plus 3000 k. So we're going to call this equation 1. Then the next thing to look at now is the second side. While for a distance of 12,000 km, the cost is 350. So we are given the distance to be 12,000 km and the cost, which is the C, to be 350. So we are going to put this value into this equation again, C equals to A plus KD. And so we have 350 equals to A plus K into bracket 12,000. K times 12,000, you know bracket means times, so that will give us 12,000 K and we have 350 equals to A plus 12,000 K. So we're going to call this equation 2. So if you look at now, we have equation 1, equation 2. In order for us to get the value of the constant A and K, we need to solve them simultaneously. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So we put the equation 2 up first. Since we are removing equation 1 from it, then equation 1 downward. Okay, now the next thing to do now is for us to rule our line. So we need to cancel one of the variable out. And the variable that is visible to cancel out is this A. We have A at the equation 2 and we also have another A at the equation 1. So we can cancel this out. Okay, following the minus sign now, 350 minus 125, that's going to give us 225. And then 12,000K minus 3,000K will give us 9,000K. You remember that this A and A will cancel out. The next thing will now be for us to make K the subject of the formula here. So to do that, we need to divide both sides by the coefficient of the K. Coefficient is the number beside K and that is 9,000. If we divide both sides by 9,000, 9,000 will cancel out from the right hand side and we have only k left at the right hand side so we have k equals to 2 to 5 divided by 9000 2 to 5 divided by 9000 equals to enter that gives us 0 0.025 so we have our k equals to 0 0.025 the next thing we need to do now is to put this value k equals to 0 0.025 into any of the equation, either equation 1 or equation 2. Put k equals to 0 0.025 into equation 1. So we'll be making use of equation 1. And equation 1 is the 1 to 5 equals to a plus 3000 k. So when we put k into this equation, we have 125 equals to a plus 3000 times 0 0.025. So let's multiply this together. 3000 multiplied by 0 0.025 equals to, that gives us 75. So we have 125 equals to A plus 75. The next thing we need to do now is to transfer this 75 to the left hand side to meet the 125. That is collecting like term now. And then we have only A left at the right hand side. So we have 125 minus 75 equals to A. 125 minus 75 will give us 50. So we have 50 equals to A. So we can interchange it round by taking 50 to the right hand side and bringing A to the left hand side and we have A equals to 50. So take note now, we've been able to determine the value of A to be 50 and then the value of k to be 0 0.025. These are constant. So we're going to fix in these two values into our equation, which is the connecting formula. So putting that into an equation, you know our connecting formula is C equals to A plus KD. So we put it into this formula and then we have now that C equals to 50 plus 0 0.025D. So this is now our main connecting formula. Okay, having determined the connecting formula, the next thing to do is to find the cost for a journey of 16,000 km. So we're going to do that one first. We're given the value of D to be 16,000 km to determine our cost of maintenance of the car, which is the C. So what we need to do 
is to put this value d into this connecting formula equation and then we have c equals to 50 plus 0 0.025 multiplied by 16,000 0 0.025 times 16,000 equals to that gives 400 so we have c equals to 50 plus 400 and 50 plus 400 is 450 so our c is 450 naira okay the next one now we are to determine distance traveled if the cost of car is 230 naira here we've been given the cost which is c to be 230 when c equals to 230 naira we are to determine the d so we're going to put the value of c into this equation which is the connecting formula equation so we have 230 equals to 50 plus 0 0.025 d the next thing we now have is 0 0.025 times d will give 0 0.025 d we transfer this 50 to the left hand side and we have 230 minus 50 equals to 0 0.025 d 230 minus 50 will give us 180 so we have 180 equals to 0 0.025 d the next thing to do now is to divide both sides by the coefficient of d and the coefficient of d here is this 0 0.025 so we have d equals to 180 divided by 0 0.025 180 divided by 0 0.025 equals to or enter that gives 7200 so the value of our d is 7200 kilometer